I was a sucker for Star Trek when I was a kid. What made the show, I think, lasting was it wasn't actually about technology. It was about values and uh, human relationships. I am fully capable of appreciating this phenomenon without the extraneous sentimentality humans find so necessary. Are you two friends? Yes. No. We're colleagues. I respect Mr. Kim for his intelligence and his integrity. You're implying a desire on my part that simply does not exist. I should somehow, uh, you know, do a Jedi mind meld with these folks and convince them uh, to do what's right. Do you know what a mind meld is? We would be telepathically linked, exchanging our thoughts, in essence, becoming one mind. I felt like uh, the guy in Star Trek. I was being beamed around. <laughs> of course I know where I am, Captain. I'm just not sure I know who I am. I wondered what happened to you. There were some complications from the meld. Captain, I must apologize for my inappropriate behavior. I hope you understand that I have always had the greatest respect for you as a captain and consider you a friend. I am aware of your situation. It appears you are in some doubt as to the wisdom of becoming a parent. It is so much more overwhelming than one expects that I believe only the most committed should become parents. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. However, I must point out that as illogical as it seems, being a father can have infinite rewards, far more than would seem possible. My children occupy a significant portion of my thoughts. We cannot leave yet. My shuttle is in need of repairs. Can't you fix it? I believe so. However, I am more concerned with getting through the electrodynamic turbulence in the ionosphere. You must be patient. I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't like it here. Your displeasure doesn't change our situation, nor does it bring us any closer to a solution. Tubok? Yes. Do you have any children? What are they like? Well behaved. A little bit of Spock. Parboiled. Mr. Neelix, I would prefer not to hear the life history of my breakfast. Uh, my ears were one of the inspirations. During my three years on Voyager, I have grown to respect a great many of you. Others, I have learned to tolerate. As a Vulcan, I share the following sentiment. Live long and prosper.